So let's try to do the same process with version 12. Now I'm going to go through an alternate navigation here. I go down to the bottom in my tray and I hit Snagit and I select Snagit Capture Window. Notice that it does not pop down the Snagit Capture Window from the top. Oh, that kind of made it flop for a minute. Why would you pop that open and leave it open? Surely I can go up there and, ho and hover over there and it'll pop up. But why would I select that a application and it not show? Now, I'm going to go through the process of trying to capture a scrolling region. I see there's a number of profiles. That's cool. And so I'm going to have to go through and select a pre-built profile. If it's not there, I'm then going to have to build it. So even if the profile's there, I've now got to go through the process of setting up the um, the profile. I come down here. Crosshairs aren't going to be of any help whatsoever here, and I didn't anticipate they would. If it was a normal region, then you could do the scrolling, but this is a scrollable region within a window. So you're going to need to use advanced scrolling. So I will have to pre-build a profile as far as I know within Snagit 12. I cannot do this on the fly. So let's go to Manage Profiles. Wait, I didn't want to do that. What am I doing here? Why did that bring up that dialog? That's kind of not brilliant. So I guess the first time I come in it's going to bring up the help. And so I'm kind of flailing here because I was trying to bring it back up again. I've now exited out of Snagit accidentally. So I'll have to bring it back up completely. That's not the editor. <laughs> Oops. So I bring back up Snagit 12. It p does this flash pop thing, which is really annoying. So I do that through managing profiles. First time I'm in, it's going to make me go through this. Got it. So I'll simply say got it. And now this ghost dialog displays, which is kind of interesting. Okay, brought up all in one. Now brings up the Manage Profiles dialog. Not quite sure that behavior, why that behavior happened that way. And I go through New Profile. I come down here, I'll select Advanced, Custom Scroll, because I know that works. I'll give it a hot key. Now I'll go to look for my custom scroll. And there it is. Make an initial attempt. Failed. We'll try again. Oops, accidentally selected all one. Didn't mean to do that. Custom scroll. There we go. And now custom scroll worked fine, so I can do it in 12. So there's no functionality loss, but the user experience is, in my, from my point of view, decidedly down. I have to pre-create every profile that I want, manage those profiles, rather than dynamically build what I'm looking to do. I would have thought profiles would be those things that I use over and over again, and that if it's a one-off like this is, then I have a way to build it. It would sure be nice if you allowed a setting for the old style dialog to be available to dynamically build what you're trying to capture. And that if you didn't want to do that, you'd simply you know leave it the default unselected, which would come out of the box, and you know it would work just like it does now for people in version 12. But for guys like me, I could leave it the old way. So the other really annoying thing since I'm here is why have this dialog come up? I will capture 
stills 99% of the time. Please make it configurable so I don't ever have to see this dialog unless I want to. Um, and maybe that's there, but I sure couldn't find it. So I can set up a profile when I want to do video capture uh, and the rare times I want to do that. But now I have to go through this intervening box where they have it default right into Snagit Editor right away like it used to. Again, another step back, it seems to me. Thanks for taking time to listen to this.